back and as my guest today I have uh, Dr. Tommy Poole who's the director of jazz studies at Northeastern State University. Uh, Dr. Poole welcome to the show today. Thank you, thanks for having me. We, uh, we have a long history and heritage of um, wonderful jazz programs here at Northeastern State University in Tahlequah and we're so glad to have you and welcome you to uh, our program here at NSU. Well thank you. Tell us a little bit about your background. I know it's, it's an interesting uh, uh, journey you've taken through uh, the world of music. Sure. Um, I grew up in South Texas, San Antonio and Austin area, and then um, I got my undergrad at the University of Texas at Austin. Then uh, the day after I played my own commencement ceremony in the uh, University of Texas, went ensemble, I flew out to Alaska and joined my first cruise ship. I was working oh. for Princess Cruises for a number of years. After a couple of years, I became musical director for Princess, traveled the world, saw a lot of uh, wonderful things, learned a lot. And uh, after a while doing that, I moved to Puerto Rico and was involved in the music scene there as uh, an arranger, performer, recording musician. And uh, then I got my master's degree at University of Miami in Florida, and then I came back to Texas to get a doctorate, and then I lived in Louisville, Kentucky for a while. I've been around. What an exciting journey. It has been. It has been boring. Well, and so tell us a little bit how you got to Tahlequah to be a part of the Northeastern State University. Well, a friend of mine said, have you heard about this program in Tahlequah? They get a lot of great guest artist concerts per year. Uh, it's a very um, high-profile jazz program. To the, uh, to the university as a whole. And I uh, said, so you should look into applying for that job. There's a friend of mine, a guitarist, who also had recently, we went to school together, University of Texas at Austin. And he said, you should look into this position. And I was just finishing my doctorate in musical arts at the University of Texas. And I said, okay, sure, I'll apply for it. It looks very interesting. So, and luckily I won the position. Great colleagues, good communication, and everybody networks and connects up. That is key, obviously, especially <laughs> in, a, in a market like this. You know, we don't yes. need to talk about the job market in present day, but yes, networking is key, of course. Well, we're glad to have you here. Tell us a little bit about the exciting programs that are going to be a part of uh, future months uh, here at NSU in sure. Tahlequah. I'd be happy to. Uh, Jambalaya is our next big concert, and it's also a kind of a dinner fundraiser event for the jazz exciting. department so that we can continue to bring in these great guest artists per year. Um, that is November, I'm sorry, February 4th, uh, Thursday, February 4th, and uh, it includes a dinner for the uh, price of admission, includes a dinner, $20 per individual, $35 for a couple. And that's over at the Jazz Lab at 315 North Muskogee. And then after that, we've got our uh, big concert with Chris Potter, and Chris Potter is one of the most amazing wow. Saxophonist ever, ever to touch the instrument of the saxophone. He's you don't want to miss it if you like saxophone, and you like jazz. Um, that is Monday, March eighth, um, at seven thirty at the University Center. We need a bigger venue. We're expecting a, a good sized crowd for that event. And then our last concert of this uh, Green Country Jazz Series for this academic year is Thursday, April eighth. Uh, and that's with Annette Cohen. She is a wonderful clarinetist. Wow. We're very, very lucky, very fortunate to have her come and perform with us um, at the Jazz Lab on Thursday, April 8th at 8 p.m. So you can tell by the, the names and the quality of the, of the uh, professional entertainment that we're getting world-class entertainers no here for a part of the jazz program. So how does that happen? I mean, here we are, little Tahlequah, Oklahoma. Is it Dr. Tommy Poole, or what, what's the, uh, what, that, that's, that's no. a marvelous accomplishment for a program uh, it is. here in Tahlequah. It is, and it's one of the reasons that I thought, wow, what an incredible opportunity to come here and be a director of jazz studies at NSU is because of this amazing Green Country Jazz Series that we have every year. We're, we're, um, we do it, frankly, from donations. Um, donations and uh, Oklahoma Arts Council gives us a uh, a generous uh, amount of funding to put on these concerts. So there's the National Endowment for the Arts. Uh, we have lots of support, obviously, from NSU uh, itself. And guest artists now know there's a reputation. Hey, we come to NSU, we know we're going to get taken care of. We know that there's a, a, a strong talent pool at the university. We know it's going to be a well put up concert. Is that so. a pun? <laughs> 
<laughs> Just thought I'd ask. It's only one letter away from fun. There you go. Okay. Well, it's such an important part of, uh, of our campus community, and this is an opportunity for the university to share with the, not just the Tahlequah community, but for people who really enjoy jazz from all over northeastern Oklahoma and northwest Arkansas. That's right. For information about tickets and uh, other information, schedules and so forth, what about a phone number or sure. uh, also a website address? Uh, that would be 918-444-4603. And the Jazz Lab website uh, is www.nsuok forward slash edu. I'm sorry, it's backslash, isn't it? Backslash edu backslash Jazz Lab. And we'll have those, uh, the phone number and the website up on the screen for you to refer to. And we also encourage all of you to make plans, stay current on the times, dates, and the events coming up so you can be a part of the NSU Jazz Program as a great supporter, a participant, and as a sponsor. So stay in touch with the NSU on the jazz program. Any last comments before we run out of time? Well, we just love to see as many of uh, local Tahlequah folks and Tulsa folks, northeastern Oklahoma folks, come out to these concerts as possible. They're a wonderful music event. Uh, even if you haven't necessarily listened to jazz your whole life or the most you know, in tune with, with the current jazz happenings, there's something that just translates musically when you see a guest artist, someone of this level, communicating in real time. It's a real happening. It's, it's a snapshot. It, the people that see the music at that event are seeing something truly unique and special. Hey, we really appreciate you being here today. We're very excited to have you here in the community, uh, Dr. Poole, and we're looking forward to some great programs at the NSU Jazz Lab. So uh, we'll invite you back a little later in the year so we can kind of recount some of these and get ready for the next uh, performance. Looking forward to it. Thank and you. we'll be right back. <laughs>